So the first thing we're going to do is select our project, and once we're inside that project, we're going to uh, we're going to see what mockups we have available to use. At the moment, this is a fresh uh, a fresh project, so we don't have any mockups. So what we're going to do is we're going to create our first mockup by clicking the Add New Mockup button. Once this loads, you'll see um, we've got the balsamic interface that we can use. So when you are creating a mockup, it's pretty obvious you're going to need um, certain elements. Like most apps have buttons and, and images. The good thing about Balsamic is it saves you a lot of time having to create these yourselves in, in like, let's say, Photoshop, for example. In Balsamic, you can just drag and drop these key elements that you, almost every app has. And I'm going to show you how to quickly do that um, and two ways you can do that as well. So since we're making a mobile app, let's start off with a, a, a mobile phone. The phone button here uh, allows us to access some inbuilt features for phones and if this one here is a phone so if we drag that down we will have a phone on our screen. Um, when we click that phone we get a properties menu that allows us to change certain aspects of it like changing it from portrait to landscape. Great. Okay so we've got a a phone on the screen. There's a few other things we can do. So there's like big elements, buttons. Well, in fact, let's use a button. Let's bring a button on the screen here. Great, and it allows us to name it as soon as we put it on the screen. So let's name it English to Mori. All right. So since we are uh, looking at elements we might as well actually just create an app as well so what I'm going to build is the the basics of the transit app which you probably heard of um, it was a it was made by a group of students from the Central Foundation Girls School and it's all about translating English to Bengali and Be Bengali to English to help uh, teachers and p parents communicate better so let's put on another button on the screen but instead of using this um, this button's kind of tab here and then clicking on the, and then dragging the button on. I'm going to show you another way of, of bringing a button on the screen. There's a search bar here, it's called the quick add bar and if there's something you're looking for and you can't quite find it in here because there's, there's a lot of there's a lot of elements here and you might get lost in here. You can just click on here and type in what you want um, and you'll find um, a list of relevant items will pop up and the first one that came up is button which is exactly what I'm looking for so I'll just click that and drag it onto the screen and rename it by double clicking on it and this time I'm going to change it to uh, Bengali into to English okay that's that done uh, I'll just place that there uh, so this is as a since it's just a mock-up I'm gonna just keep this quite quick and easy so I'm happy with this as a menu um, and now it's really important that I save my work um, and there's two reasons why we do this uh, not just because it's important to save your work in general but the name of of your prototype of this first mock-up is going to be used later on and you'll see why and how it's used but so what you want to do is you want to name it and you want to name it something relevant so in this case it's clearly a menu since it's got two buttons on it and this is going to be the first thing the user sees so I'm going to save it as a menu button uh, menu mock-up Good, so that's done now. The next thing I want to do is, well, let's say a user uh, clicks the English to Bengali button. Uh, what would pop up? Uh, it will be with the next screen. So that's what I'm going to try and create now. Let's create a new project by going to, or a new um, a new mockup. We're going to project and new mockup. So we get a new blank screen here. The first thing we want is a phone. So if I just search for phone, and we've got that there. So let's grab a label um, and let's put in this label what the teacher might want to say to a parent. Um, so let's say uh, your child is behaving well. Great. And what I'm going to do actually, I'm going to copy this and I'm going to create a couple more of these and I'm going to pause the video. <clears throat> so we'll pause the recording. Uh, finish doing this and then you should be able to uh, see the finish 
uh, finish work so as if by magic we've got the labels on the on the mock-up <clears throat> uh, so what I want to do now is I want to create a, a kind of a, a sound button here so if I search for sound you'll notice that nothing is popping up so although balsamic is brilliant uh, and it has lots of inbuilt features sometimes you'll find that there's an asset that isn't there um, but that's okay it's not not to worry you can still create that asset in um, let's say paint or Photoshop and then import that in so I'm going to show you how you can do that so the first thing I'm going to do is search for image and I'm going to place the image where I would want it to be so I'm going to say here and I'll put that there and now what I want to do is when I click on the image or have it selected this properties box appears and I want to click uh, go to where image which is image and default placeholder select the, the drop down and go to import image and we'll browse to where we have in our, our pre-made image so earlier on I created a speaker image in paint um, so I'll attach that now right. and if you click sketch it it changes the color of the asset to match the background of uh, balsamic there we go so if I unsketch it it's the original color which is blue and then I sketch it it comes out black so if I'll select this and then I'll click load and now you can see that the button or well, the image is now the one that we want to be a speaker so I'm going to copy and paste this a few times and place that in the appropriate places so what we've done now is we've kind of created our, our app um, kind of a simple interface but the um, the two mockups that we have don't actually link to each other so what I'm going to try and do is change this um, so that they link what I'm going to do is save our project because that's the most one of the most important things you can do and we can't go any further until we've done that so let's save this as uh, English and click save and I'm also going to add one more button and I'm going to call this one back button so when the user clicks this they'll go back to the original menu that we they were previously on so we have two mockups we have our English mockup and we have our main menu mockup so the idea would be someone would click on English to Bengali and then the English to Bengali page would appear and you can you know click the, uh, the sound the speaker and this would be translated into that particular language and let's select the back button and you'll notice on this properties window you have uh, something called link at the moment it says no link um, and what we want to do is we want to link this back button to the menu uh, mockup oh, if we click on link you'll notice now that there's actually two things here that have dropped down there's English and menu and these are referring to the names of the mockups that we created here so menu is called menu and English is called English so what we want to do is we want when someone presses the back button the menu mockup will appear so let's link this to menu great and now let's go into menu go to English to Bengali and I create a link for this one as well I can link it to the English page now if we go to full screen presentation you'll notice that the buttons that we linked are different color and when we hover over them the cursor changes to the finger pointer so if I select this now if I press this button you'll notice that it changes to this page and now if I press the back button it should take us to the menu so what we've got here is the basic mock-up and, and a great way a great tool to see how you could you know take your 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 mock-ups a lot further and, and see the interactivity of uh, your possible app.